guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be trying out some new face products, um, including the L'Oreal Pro Glow that I've heard so much about. Um, I'm in shade 201, so we will see. I think this was the lightest shade, so we will see if this matches me. So if you are excited for this video and to see some new shit, then give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell so you are notified every time I upload. And if you wanna follow me on all those other social media things, see my random tweets, then I will have all of those listed down below. So let's get into the video. So I'm gonna start out with this Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base. I've seen a lot of other YouTubers swearing by this and so let's see if I swear by it. I'm just going to rub that in with my fingers. Okay. That is enough of me awkwardly rubbing my face. <clears throat> Skills me. Okay, so let's break the seal on this bad boy. And oh fuck it. Let's I don't know. Guess we'll I don't really know how much I need to put on, so what is this supposed to be? It's up to 24 hours foundation has sunscreen, it's a radiant finish, and medium coverage. So it's probably buildable, I would imagine. Most medium coverages are, well, other ones are too. Okay, so let's start with that. I've got my damp beauty sponge and we're going to pat. One of my favorite YouTubers that I watch is Raw Beauty Christy. And this is like her go-to foundation. And she talks about it all the time. And so I decided I needed to try it. Because that's how this shit works. <laughs> Cover up that <clears throat> gigantic pimple on the side of my forehead. It is definitely looking very glowy and dewy. And I am definitely not hating it. Normally, my nose is the teller if something's going to look good or not. And my nose is looking pretty fucking good. Yeah, bitch. Okay, so let's try some. Okay, so for concealer, I'm going to try out this Tarte Rank Forest of the Sea Aqua Sealer. This is in shade Fair. <clears throat> Jesus. Okay, and it's got this weird applicator, like the shape tape and all that. Oh. It smells like eggnog paint. So let's just put it by my eyes, yeah, okay. Um, put it a little there. And let's call that good. Okay. Okay, so I can tell already that I like this better than Shape Tape. And Shape Tape's supposed to be like everybody's holy grail, whatever. But for someone with dry skin, it is a nightmare. You can like, you know, try and try and try to make it work, but usually it just looks disgusting and dry and cakey. And I'm not about that life, so. 
I also got the um, Infallible Pro Glow, what is this, Long Wear Demi Glow Finish Powder. That's okay. That was a lot. This is also in shade, well, is that shade Classic Ivory? I don't remember now. But this is in shade Classic Ivory 21. This actually came from Target's website. I ordered this online from Target. And it came busted. And so now there's like powder everywhere and I haven't even used it yet. So it looks like it's got two sides. I don't... So they look kind of the same. Can't really, I don't really see a difference, but we're gonna use them swirl, swirl in both. And this is just a big fluffy powder brush. This is from the balm. It's powder to the people because it's kind of adorable. I got it because I thought it was cute. Don't judge me. Oh, I almost dropped that. Okay. So we're gonna powder the face. Okay. So it does give you kind of that glowy, dewy look. I'm just gonna dab some on my sponge and do the under eye because I didn't really want to put that powder brush right under my eye. Looking good so far, digging it. All right, so next up, I've got this e.l.f. bronzer in light matte, and I'm not using it. So we will see, <coughs> excuse me, we'll see if it works. I'm just gonna Dab it on. Actually, I'm gonna swirl it in there. Get quite a bit of product on there. Okay. Oh, it's not too bad. Do the other side. the forehead along the jawline help with that appearance of not having a double chin oh yeah I think this is the best I've ever done that before just just so you know, that's the best that I've done that before. So I'm gonna take a little bit of that, just on a skinny brush, just on the skinny brush, and kinda contour, but not really contour. It's way too heavy on that side. But it's fine. Make it work. Oh, that doesn't look bad. I mean, not on camera anyways. In person, it's a little much. So I'm going to dip into that uh, Pro Glow powder again. Yeah. 
And there we go, much better. And let me just kind of lighten that up a little bit because I don't want to look too crazy. My under eyes look a little not cute. Like not super crepey or anything, just a little more texture than I would normally prefer. Okay, so now I've got this Lorac blush. It's a baked matte satin blush in flaunt. Look just how fucking beautiful that is. Like just that's why I bought it because it's fucking pretty. I don't know if it's gonna look good on my skin. And but I don't care because it's fucking pretty. Ooh, so it's got some glitter in it. Which I'm totally okay with. That doesn't bother me. But if you don't really like, you know, like the shiny blushes, if you like a more matte blush, um, I wouldn't suggest this one. But oh man, that's pretty. Let me blend that out though. And I like to put a little bit just on the bridge of my nose right there. It just gives you that like, I don't know, I don't know how to explain it, but it's like the sun-kissed look. I just think it looks cute. Okay, now I'm going to go into this Makeup Revolution um, Sugar and Spice Blush Palette. It looks like this. And I'm going to take a brush. Where, where's a good brush? Fuck it, I'll use this one. This is an e.l.f. foundation brush. See all the fucks that I give. And we're gonna put on, I'm using, Jesus, that was difficult. This shade right here of the highlighter. Yes, bitch. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. Fuck yes, bitch. Do you look cute as well? I feel like I never do this part correctly. Like, I don't know what it is, but I always just look really dumb. Like, just have... See, it just looks like I have a fucking mustache. I don't know. Oh, well. Put it up there. Okay, I, yeah, I am really liking how this looks. I am going to dip my sponge back into some powder, though, and just lighten up that blush a little bit because it is really pink. Super pretty, though. I really like that. Yeah. Okay. We're almost done. I promise we're almost done. So I've got this lip liner. It's from Catrice Cosmetics. It's Lip Glow Lip Liner. Um, I don't, is that the name of it? It says Secret Glow Tensity. I don't know if that's, I don't know if there's shades or not. I don't remember if this was the only shade in this or not. But I'm just gonna line my lips with it it looks like it's kind of just like a yeah it's kind of see it's pretty sheer Ooh. hello out of focus Okay, there we go. And then, what color? I wanted to use one of these. I, I will wear black lipstick before I will wear a nude because I don't, there's something wrong with me. I 
just I don't think that I like nude lipstick it's just never a good look for me so this is the Jeffree Star Rose Matter it's one of the little minis it came in a set Sorry, my bad. Yeah, I think that nude one wouldn't have gone as well. This smells really good. Like it smells like something, but I can't place it. Okay. Actually, I really like that lip color. It looks really pretty. Okay. Um, I'm going to stop staring at myself because it's just a little weird now. Um, but so if you enjoyed this video, um, then I don't know, give it a like or something. Don't give it a dislike though, because that's rude. Like, unless you really genuinely disliked it, but then maybe you don't dislike it anyways. Just, like, leave me a comment. Be like, you suck. But down there, not in the dislike thing. So give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Follow me on all the other social medias. I will list all those down below. Maybe somebody will actually pay attention to me on Twitter because I'm fucking hilarious, yo. Like, just saying, like, you should just watch it. But anyways, I'm going to go and take these lashes off because it feels fucking weird. All right, but I will see you in my next video.